Hmm. I don't know. Something's changed in this room since the last video, and I'm, I just can't put my finger on it. You know, oh yeah, welcome all you new subscribers, but your old subscribers are probably seeing you know a couple weird things here and there. And I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. You know what it is. You know that. Hmm, I don't know. Let's see. Oh well, but okay. News from in and around the universe. News that may affect you, afflict you, inflict you, and do weird things to your psyche. Yes, this is Dr. Freedom coming to you live on, well, this will be recorded uh, on, you know, 4th of July, Independence Day. No, not that movie where everything got blowed up and there was a big speech by, you know, what's his name? You know, the guy who turned out to be a pedo in Torchwood. No, he was a character, all right? <laughs> oh, man you know, what I'm talking about. You know, Bill Pullman, you know, who went on to play a certain character in Torchwood and Miracle Day. Oh, boy, was that a disaster right up there with class. And, um, but that's just me. That's my thoughts. Okay, so let's get to it. Let's get on to it. Let's get to the news, the news you've come to see. I swear something's going on back there, and I just can't think of it. What do you think, guys? Do you see anything different back there? I don't know. Maybe I'm just having an old people moment. All right, let's get to the news, shall we? First up off the bat, here we go. There's the Bill Shaban getting already set up as Sill in the Devil Seeds of Orador. And this is going to be an independent production. Y'all set, y'all as a quote unquote in the Doctor universe. Uh, Sophie Aldry, many others involved in this movie as well. And I'm not sure when this is coming out, but they said more announcements will be coming. So keep your eyes tuned to this area. Now, this is uh, Keith Barnfather's channel over on Facebook. So all I can say is keep an eye out there if you're interested. You know, see how the progress of this goes. But it's interesting to see him back as this character after so many years. All right, moving forward. Years and years actor Maxim Baldry to appear in a Doctor Who historical episode. It turns out he'll appear in sometime in Series 12, according to his online CV. And if we scroll down here, the director's credit is listed as various, indicating more than one director in more than one filming block. Now, if this is correct, that would make Baldry's role a recurring in the series. Now, in, her, in an interview with the Italian Rev, I think that's I think that's what it says, Rev, or is it Reeve? I think it's Rev. Oh, whatever. Rev, 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 Angel. Okay, published on May 11th, Maxim Baldry stated that he was about to start filming another television project. Baldry was filming Doctor Who at Methera Mall Estate in Bridge End, Wales, and forgive me if I butchered the hell out of that, on June 28th and July 1st. Now, he posted a photo of the filming base near Ogmore on July 28th. Um, guys, it's July 4th. So I'm assuming they met June 28th there, okay? It happens to, it happens to us all. The crew is possibly filming at an estate earlier in the work week of June 24th to the 28th. And when I last checked, according to what you know, I've seen, they were filming at Merthyr Mall again yesterday. So, of course, you know, the Brits, they don't get July 4th off because that's not a happy time. It, it, it basically, Brexit 1776. They don't like to discuss it. All right. So here's the photo he took. Once again, they left it up because all you're seeing is a couple of the actors' trailers and stuff like that. Nothing spoilery. But you know that's on location. He also posted a video Instagram story of himself and another actor and actress on July 1st, all in early 19th century costume. He was recently seen in Russell T. Davies' critically acclaimed miniseries Years and Years as Victor Gorea, and he is also known as the child actor who played Stepan Dushesky alongside Rowan Atkinson in the film Mr. Bean's Holiday. So, aha, uh -huh, there you go. So keep your eyes peeled here for more info as it comes in. The Daily Star. Here we go. The snowball effect has started. Now, remember when we had that story come out mentioning there might possibly be a holiday special, you know, on New Year's Day, you know, January 1st, and the person couldn't even get the fact that New Year's Day isn't this year right? Now it's in the Daily Star. And it's just now it's going to spread like a virus that this could possibly happen. But the problem is, is this. I want to see it from the BBC. I want to see an announcement from somewhere that's credible. Daily Star, not exactly there. You know what I'm saying? So, and also here we go on Bustle. An extra Doctor Who episode might be on the way, and the rumored details already sound pretty epic. 
I want to know where they're getting all this grand news from. Somebody out there is claiming, you know, they'd be putting it out. And all I can say is this guy, if it turns out not to be true, they're going to hang you. They're going to nail you out on the cross again, just like the last couple of times. But that's just me. That's my opinion. That's probably what's going to happen. Because it seems to me like this has been a whole lot of speculation. And they're just assuming that since they keep saying early 2020, that they mean January 1st. I guess I believe it when I see it. All right. Cause that's just a little weird, you know, having your holiday special and, you know, doing a one-off, then you go into the main series. I don't know. seems a little fishy to me. All right. David Tennant specials. We already get a Blu-ray steel book. Um, they're going to be releasing these pretty soon. Fans, uh, you know, the spiel and these specials that'll be included in this steel book, of course, are the next Dr. Planet of the dead, the waters of Mars, and the end of time part one and two. Now this apparently is going to be released on Monday, the 2nd of September of this year. And also contain a bonus disc with the animated episodes, dreamland and the infinite quest. So really nice that they're doing this, but the problem is what about us guys? You already bought, I bought the entire tenant years. I don't know how many years ago and it included all this already. So Maybe I'm just nuts, but if y'all, if it's, it'll be a good collector's item if you want it. All right, where it is, Matt Smith is being eyed to play the main villain in Doctor Strange too. <laughs> oh man, I can see this now. He was basically clawing and beating on Karen Yellen's door. Please talk to him and get me into a Marvel movie, Karen. Uh, nobody will look at me after Genesis. Uh. <laughs> okay, but now Marvel hasn't officially released their slate for Phase 4 yet, even though they're assuming this will happen at Comic-Con. But one movie they're confident will arrive soon is Doctor Strange 2. And, of course, word is that we previously reported that Baron Mordo would be the main antagonist of the sequel, as our source told us he'd be a full-on villain in the movie. Now, we've now had it to be clarified that this isn't actually the case. The fact is, it's looking like Nightmare will be Strange's new foe, and we got this covered. It has been told that Matt Smith is one name on Marvel's wish list to play him. No, it's more like Matt Smith has got everything on his wish list to play anything. <laughs> Funko Pop unveils our new 13th Dr. Pop figures. Check these out. Here's there's Jody with her little welder's apron and the goggles and all you know, the new Sonic. There's the new Dalek, the Recon Dalek, and of course there's the Kablam Man. The Kablam Man. You can pre-order all three figures right here, and with shipping slated for October. So unfortunately, we'll have to wait until early 2020. Blah blah to watch Series 12, and we already know that. All right, so. There they are. Aren't they cute? Let's move on. All right. Lastly, on a sad note, Glenn Houston has passed away. Glenn Houston appeared in two Doctor Who stories. In 1976, he played Professor Watson, director of the Nunton Experimental Complex, in the fourth Doctor story, The Hand of Fear. And then he came up against the fifth Doctor, playing Colonel Wolsey in the 1984 story, The Awakening. And he's you know, made many, many, many other appearances here as listed. And sadly... Yes, he has passed away at the age of 93. Once again, 4th of July, I just had a few things out there I wanted to get out to you, be you know, taking a little time here to relax, enjoy the holiday. As you can see, I've been moving some shit around, maybe I'll throw an old stuff out, because sooner or later, you know, whether you like it or not, you got to get rid of the old to bring in the new. And sadly, there's a big group of us out there who seem to just not be able to accept change. And you think with the show going on 56 years old with how many lead actors, you know, in the role that it would just be, you know, something different. Or also look at how many showrunners we've gone through. They're already Clarence Chibnall, the worst showrunner. Trust me. I know of one other that would be on the list above Chibnall. All right. So please take care of yourselves and each other. Enjoy the holiday. Try not to blow your fingers off. Have a good one. See you on the flip side. Tom, have you been stepping out on me? Good night.